Today, I will show you exactly what I've done to reach this edit speed. I've made this into a 10-step guide, and it's really important you don't skip any of these steps if you really want to learn how to edit fast. Step 1. Make sure these settings are off. There are a couple settings that are completely messing up your edits, and not many people talk about them or even know about them. The first one is disable pre-edit options. It's really important that you have this setting turned off. It affects how far away you can edit from, and it totally messes you up when you're trying to do continuous edits like this when you have this setting on. The second one is vibration, and it should also always be off. Vibration adds a lot of input delay for some reason, which slows down your edits a lot. Step 2. Switch mode slash edit. Find yourself a secondary switch mode slash edit button. This is known as a low input delay trick for controller, and this makes your edits feel a lot faster. To set this up, go into your controller bind and find any bind that you never press. Once you have this binded, it's gonna say that you have to edit with the bind that you just set it to. But don't worry about that, your normal edit bind still works and you should be only using that. You just want to bind this setting but never press it. Also, a very important step is to use code dim slow in the item shop. I would appreciate this a lot. Step 3. Optimized sensitivity. If you want to be a fast editor, it's really important that you have a proper sensitivity. The common mistake is to think that you just have to crank up your edit sensitivity and then you have fast edits, but it doesn't work like that at all. You want to find a sensitivity that you can control, and by control, I mean having good crosshair placement. Here is an example of bad crosshair placement. And here's an example of good crosshair placement. When you have good crosshair placement, you're moving as little as possible, and that means that you're doing your edits as fast as possible. There are well-optimized sensitivity settings for good crosshair placement. Your build and edit mode sensitivity should be the same at around 2x. Your look horizontal and vertical speeds should be at around 42%. This is what every single pro player in the game uses. But personally, I've always loved a little bit of a higher sensitivity, so I use 54%. Keep all of your boosts at 0% and use linear for clean movement. Dead zone should be both set at around 8%. Step 4. Having the correct bind. The most important bind is obviously your edit. This needs to be set to a button that you never have to take your thumb off. Of. I play claw and I use triangle for editing. If you don't play claw, a good editing bind is L3 for an example. Another three really important binds are your select edit button, reset edit button, and your confirm edit button. All of these three binds should be set to your bumpers and triggers. These buttons are all easy to access because your fingers automatically always rest on them. Step 5. Auto confirm edits. Having this setting on means that you don't have to confirm your edits, which means that you have to press less buttons to do an edit. Not only does this make you edit fast, but it also makes your hands less tired. But if you're already used to confirming your edits, you can also be fast like that, so don't worry. But what you really have to turn on here is auto confirm reset. This basically works like a scrolly reset but for controller. You only have to press two buttons which makes you reset a lot faster. Step 6. Perfect way to practice. The only way that I have ever practiced my editing speed has been by pre-building. There's no need for any fancy editing maps. You should just hop into a private 1v1 server where you have unlimited mats and practice these edits. Start from double edits and once you can do multiple of these in a row you move on to triple edits. And again once you can do multiple of these you move on to quad edits. This triple down edit practice has also made me a lot faster. Practice these every time you get on for around 15 minutes, and I promise you, you will end up being a fast editor once you just put the time and effort in. And remember, the harder something is, the more it's gonna improve. Step 7. Try to edit fast. Now, when you're doing these edits, make sure you're trying your hardest to do these edits as fast as possible. There's a big difference in you just doing edits relaxed and actually trying to edit as fast as possible. At first, this may feel a little exhausting, but eventually, it just becomes natural and you become a way faster editor. Step 8. Editing with your pickaxe out. Editing with your pickaxe out makes your edits look a lot faster, but it is also a lot harder because you have to press switch mode after each edit. The easiest way to practice this is when you're doing double edits. Practice makes perfect. Step 9. Accessories. As you can see, I have this purple thing on my joystick. It's called a mid-rise galaxy control freak, and I use it because it makes my joystick a little longer, which gives me better crosshair place. If you want to buy this as well, I've left a link in the description. Step 10. Play claw. If you aren't already, you should definitely learn how to play claw because this has been the biggest reason for why i'm this fast at editing now if you want to learn how go check out this video right here